Well, if you're wondering, is this been hotter than usual? I mean, most of you who are saying that are obviously correct. I mean, we're getting close to records outside here for one of the hottest summers out there since records go back to 1905. And we will gradually start to see some relief. I think we're going to start to see a little bit of relief in the humidity first. But as we head towards the end of this week and into next week, I think we are going to get some relief from the temperatures as well. Let's take a look right now where we are still dealing with kind of our regular regularly scheduled programming this year, and that is the warm temperatures in the mid 90s for Meriden, 89 the current temperature in Thompson, 92 for Windsor Locks. And this is what it feels like when you combine the heat and the humidity. Notice that those numbers are generally higher in Southern Connecticut. And the reason why is because it's a lot more humid in Southern Connecticut. And the more humidity there is in the air, the harder it is for sweat to evaporate off your body. And that's the science of why it feels hotter when there's a lot of humidity in the air. So it feels like almost triple digits for some areas like New Haven right now, Norwich, you're feeling it, even Waterbury at 98 degrees for a heat index. But watch what happens to the comfort scale here moving forward. It's still humid. I don't want to tell you it's going to be refreshing for tomorrow or Friday, but at least we're on the downhill swing. And by this weekend, I think you're really noticing a difference. Flash flood watch, wouldn't that be nice if we had one over us? I mean, obviously, I never root for basement flooding, but we just need the rain so badly. We do have have a lot of activity to the southwest of us. You'll see widespread flood alerts in effect, showers and thunderstorms, and we're just on the northern fringe of things. There's even a severe thunderstorm warning right now just north of the New York City area. And we have a couple little showers and downpours that have developed around East Haddam and Colchester. Um, how much rain? As I've been saying, not enough. We'll see that for the next couple of hours or so, and then they'll start to fizzle out. Partly cloudy skies, warm tonight with low temperatures in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Heading through the day tomorrow. I think we're in the mid 80s for the shoreline and temperatures will be between 85 to right around 90 degrees inland. That would be day six of our heat wave if we do get there. And right now it's looking like we might just squeeze by the 90 degree mark. And once again, as we head through the afternoon tomorrow, watch there is a chance again for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. I think the best chance for that is going to be in the southern half of the state, especially as you head closer to the shoreline with a similar setup for Friday to high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Again, noticing each day is just a few degrees lower than the day before it, and that relief is going to continue. Uh, closely keeping an eye on the Atlantic hurricane season, and it looks like Josephine may develop later. I'm going to show you that to you in just a little bit. Here's your seven day forecast. Saturday's looking good, but Sunday there is a rising chance for some showers, maybe even a period of rain Sunday night into Monday. It's a kind of uncertain forecast. There's a lot of differences in our computer models. So let's hope for rain as of right now, since we really need it so badly. But just know that that part of the forecast is a bit up in the air. Saturday right now looks like the safer bet for outdoor plans and activities heading into this weekend. Aisha. Rachel, thank you.